We are live. We are out on the lake. If you're watching the replay, my name is Jeremy and today I'm shooting some side scan sonar out here in the lake. Still trying to dial it in, get used to it. It is not the world's best sonar, but it is what I got. So we're going to try to uh, utilize it the best we can. And if you are live with me today, welcome. Essentially, I'm out here in the lake right now. I got my, uh, I got everything. I got all my doodads set up and I think I got a better rigging than I did last time to, uh, for you guys to be able to watch the uh, sonar. So let's just jump right into it and uh, check out what I'm working with today. Let's see here. Flip the screen. Look down here. All right, I'm back. I hit the I hit the off button. Strong start. I'm having a strong start to the day. All right. Boom. I got the thing set up pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Let's see here. You guys think it looks good? Tell me if it looks good. I'm just going to uh, see if I can figure out how to paddle with this right in front of my face. <laughs> oh no, this might be an interesting day. How am I supposed to paddle? <laughs> Perfect, looks good. I'm glad it looks good because I don't know how I'm gonna paddle. <laughs> this is never ending by the way, so bear with me. You can do it. Thank you for the motivation. <laughs> if I lean back, there we go. Did you see what chaos, di chaos diver on? I didn't, I was watching his um, live stream yesterday as they wrapped it up near that big boat, but uh, fill me in, dude, what did he find? I would love to know. Did they find Bill? That's the biggest thing. This sonar was, I mean, I got it off eBay. It is the uh, HDS9. It is not the HDS Live, which is what I should have got. I kind of jumped the gun and bought the, uh, bought whatever I could really afford. But uh, it was like, I don't know, maybe, what was it? Gosh, I want to say it was like 1200 bucks. Uh, it was a lot more money than I wanted to spend. Let's put it that way. Didn't find Bill, but they did find a truck thinking someone is in it. Ooh, man, are they going to, uh, are they going to go hunting today to find it? And what kind of truck was it? I wasn't watching, but that sucks. I want to go up there again. Hey, you do what you can. Yeah, I definitely, uh, hell, I didn't have the money for this sonar, but <laughs> what can you do? He's in the water, diving and might go live again. Hopefully it'll be this afternoon when he go live, when he goes live, because right now it's like, I think it's noon where I'm at, noonish. But, uh, hey, Lynn, hello. He found a truck. They dove on it today. Found something, but can't say what. He updated about 30 minutes ago. Ooh, drama secrets. I like that. Noon here also. Awesome. I think, I think I'm going to be able to drive this thing the way I am right now. I think I got the camera set up to where it should work. You guys can see what I'm seeing. I'm actually looking at my phone more than I'm actually looking at the screen. So if you guys see something that pops up that I missed, make sure you tell me. I can only scan out to 20 feet each side because I'm only six feet deep. So Tristan, say hey Nug. His mood was quite sober. Hmm. What if I could uh, use the plug-in yet? I actually brought a plug-in, but it's telling me that the thingy was wet. Yeah, see, look at that. Lightning. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I guess I'll go live stream until the battery dies, because I, I brought a plug in, but apparently I, it got wet. So now the uh, the phone actually has a feature on it that says uh, it's not going to charge because it's wet. Isn't that crazy? All right, 50 people in here, 12 thumbs up. Let's get those thumbs up, up a little bit more. Up, up, up. Oh, there's something. I don't know what that is. That's probably just a log. Let's start off right now with, as you can see on the sonar, I mean, it works. It tells you what's down there. Man, but I'm just, it's almost not detailed enough. It's kind of irritating. I got it set up 800, only 20 foot range because I'm only like six feet deep. But I'm just going to go back and forth in this area and see if I can find anything. The only thing I'm actually going to find out here, I'll bet you money, is like a sunken boat, maybe. Uh, it's a very nice lake. Will you get a trolling motor sometime? I will when the funds allow it. Dude, it felt like something just hit my boat. Do you feel that? I don't think you guys would have felt it, but I felt something. That was weird. 
What if I ran over a log or something? It says I'm seven, almost seven feet deep. Can you see guns with that? I cannot see guns with this. Uh, it is not the best sonar, but uh, uh, I, guns would be pretty hard to see, to be honest with you. So you want to hear something funny? Uh, I went, let me see, last weekend I actually was up in Nashville with my family and we was doing, we was hunting for Bill and uh, I had the battery pack for this sonar in the front of the kayak and I guess I have a crack on the front of the kayak, which is out of the water right now, but it was, it was closer to the water and long story short, I started to sink. And uh, so that, that was kind of creepy. <laughs> My birthday, dude, is all over crap. Right, dude, that was crazy. Yeah, I wish I had a motor too. Paddling with a kayak, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, uh, this kayak sonar uh, is a means to an end because the second I get a boat, uh, there'll be no more kayak sonar because this is like, it's really hard, it's really top heavy, and this is gonna be a big old live stream of complaining. <laughs> I would try not to though. Let's see here. So we're at seven feet. Let's jump it out here to eh, We'll try 30 or 25 So I learned yesterday that sonar like the more shallow you are the less it works You know like towards a distance like right now I'm 25 feet either way and you can see there's a lot of black So it's gonna be really hard to pick up something just because the sonar isn't the transducer isn't powerful enough Uh you know to, to shoot out farther now other other ones might be but this one isn't let's go back down to 20 feet so we can kind of see a little more so we found a truck chaos divers found a truck they dove on it uh but it's a secret so we can't tell anybody on this stream what it was i'm about to find out when i get back uh, where was the truck? Was it out there in the same area where the 17 cars were at? Uh, or was it a different part of the river? Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. At the bottom of a boat ramp, the other dock. Okay. So pretty much the end of this year is pretty rough. Like I'm going up to Wyoming uh, probably next weekend to get a truck from my father. He's being a pal and he's pretty much, he's got a pickup truck for me. And I'm gonna put a winch on it. And, uh, and then hopefully before January, I'll figure out a way to get a boat. Uh, when I say boat, one of, those, one of those inflatable kayaks that Jared has, uh, get one of those. You know, get a setup, pretty much, and then, uh, and then I can hunt, like, all the places around here where I live, uh, besides this lake, which isn't even a real lake, it's just like it's a dammed up reservoir, so, uh, the chances of finding something out here are pretty darn slim, but, anyway, get all that set up, but hopefully, by the, I don't know, maybe the middle of December, I can really jump out there and start testing, uh, test in the waters and see if I can find some uh, cars or boats to dive on and pull out of the water but what's really cool like what's really got me fascinated is that I want to get a um, I want to do the whole truck with the winch just because that just seems fun all by itself you know be able to get with the water ugh, my gosh we'll be able to get the car or the boat or whatever uh, to the boat ramp all by myself you know without any help from a tow truck and then all the tow trucks got to do is just show up and, and take the car you know, that'd be kind of fun. Don't have any airbags yet either, so it's either I'm dragging the car up or uh, I'm going to have to rely on a tow truck to show up and kind of drag it out with me or somebody else gets some airbags, you know. Um, I missed a question about um, Wyoming. What did you guys say about Wyoming? Another thing I've noticed about these sonars is like I wonder what that is. Probably just another log. It's got a shadow though. I wonder if that's a car or a, a fish. I don't know, it's probably a log. But anyway, you go too slow with these sonars and it kind of distorts the picture too. 
We got like three, you know, like idling with a trolley motor usually works pretty good. Trolley motor, um, gas powered motor. He unfortunately doesn't get to dive up there. Oh, okay, so cat toy lady, my wife, she's helping out with some questions because half the time I'm trying not to flip my kayak so I don't get cold. I'm not doing a lot of self shots on me because it's pretty boring, but there is, um, if you saw me, you'd say like, I have normal clothes on, but underneath I'm wearing a wetsuit because this kayak is not dry. There's holes underneath, you know, the water comes through. This is a summer kayak and I've rigged it to work with uh, all the sonar equipment. So it's pretty elaborate, but my butt's all wet, but I don't care because I got the wetsuit on. It's just mildly uncomfortable. I really want to go scuba diving, but I gotta wait till Saturday. And I'm gonna go do a couple videos with with Z Cooks. Z Cooksy, I guess is the name of his channel. He's coming in. We're gonna go dive looking for some relics. Maybe uh I know there's a spot in the river. I found it. It's a crack in the rocks. And uh I think it goes about 20, 30 feet deep, but I wanna explore it. And if I could get down to the bottom of it, I'm going to do some metal detecting at the very bottom and see if anything floated down to the bottom over the years. It's very possible. Maybe some Civil War stuff down there, modern stuff, maybe some guns. You just never know. Need over three miles per hour to work well? Exactly. Right now, I, I mean, I'm just putting along at a snail's pace. Mainly the wind is blowing me. So it's probably not working as good as it could, but once I get this thing set up in a boat with a, with a motor, it'll uh, should work out better. Dude, there's some rivers that I I was doing some uh, how would we call it? Searching the river uh, on Google Maps, trying to find places to go, and I found some stuff on the Savannah River. A lot of boat ramps uh, that are really old looking, and out in the middle of nowhere. And the Savannah River is pretty darn big. So I was like, man, once I get a boat, I can get up in there. And uh, I bet you money there's cars out there. Amber color comes across video better. The blue looks good. We can, uh, we can always change that up. Let's see here. So this is orange. Is this, I don't think that's amber. How about that one? I think that's the, the go-to color that people use. Kind of works better. I'm not seeing any sunken boats though. Kind of a, a shape there. And probably that's just a, something in the mud. I came in late, where are you? I'm in Georgia. I'm at a, I'm at a little river, just a um, little, little mud, not a river, a little lake actually, right, right down the road. I wanted to get out here and, and practice some more with this sonar, but honestly, the sonar in the kayak is just, makes me makes me sad, but it works. Oh, the wind's blowing. I'm going sideways against little water swells. Gosh, I hate this. Okay, I'm turning around, going back. Not back to the shore, but back over here. Mm -mm. Turn that off. Four, I'm a whopping four feet deep. This is not even a river, or not even a lake. This is like a little puddle. <laughs> Jacob was in shock. I never expected to find a kept secret. Chaos is live right now. Ah, oh, no. He's live, I'm live. He gets big audiences, man. I haven't really won over an audience yet because I haven't found anything awesome. But one of these days, once I get all my gear together, I still ain't got the, God, I'm so broke. <laughs> it's hard, like, I don't know, essentially it's like juggling two jobs. Yeah, do what I can. So if anybody's coming here just to look at side scan sonar, this is the uh, Lowrance HDS9 with a total scan transducer. 
It is budget friendly. You can see it works. It'll find structures in the water. But uh, I don't know. Like the detail is definitely not up to par with the hummingbirds. Uh, it's not as powerful. I know Lowrands has HDS Live uh, and HDS Carbon. Now those are like the, the brand up from this one. And uh, they're spendy. Of course, they all are spendy. But uh, I think those are the equivalent of the Humminbird uh, Solex, like what Jared has. Jared and Jacob. Uh, I just couldn't get, like I had everything like ready to go. I just didn't have the funds. If I would have bought that sonar, I wouldn't have money for anything else. So I had to go with the crappier sonar for now. And hopefully as time goes on, I'll be able to afford the better sonar and get better uh, traction you know, out in the water. I don't know what that's, sorry. I think that circle you're looking at is actually just water or um, grass. It's only money. It's only money. I need to find that tree that all the money grows on. I'm having a tough time finding it. I want to go over here. because there's a, there's a bridge. Like a walkway bridge. And uh, I don't see how deep it is, but the wind isn't blowing over there. So I'll go puddle around over there and see if I can find some down trees or barrels or something to look at. See if I can actually understand this thing a little better. 30 people here is boring. You'll get there. I'll get there. Thank you. Thank you for the support. I keep hitting the dang my phone with paddle. This is working a little bit better though. Four feet deep. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody's jumping off my live to go over to uh, Jacob's because he's probably has something way more awesome to watch. Hey, cat toy lady, you should jump on Jacob's live stream really quick and then give me some updates so I know what he, uh, what's going on over there. Yeah, it definitely does take time. It takes time. I'm very impatient though. I, mean, I wish I could, wish I could just get what I wanted and then get to making videos, but has his on TV and you on my phone. <laughs> so, he must have found a body, he won't talk about it. Oh my goodness. I'm so jealous, I wish I was at, wish I was at Nashville right now. Okay, so at least the water's, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go underneath this bridge. <sighs> See what we got. He's really upset, huh? I'm still here, that's cool. Why is he upset? Upset like he found something, he's getting all emotional? Or he's upset because he dropped something in the water? Well, what kind of upset are we talking here? No one in the truck, they just said, okay. So is this a truck that Jared found on his video or is this like a different spot? Or was it like, you know what I'm saying, one of the cars? Sorry about that glare, different spot. Okay. to walk the roads for bottles and cans get money for tools according to the phrase doctors have patients i have aggravations <laughs> that's cool
keep hitting my phone with my darn paddle. Bing. That's weird, I went under the bridge, didn't pick up on the pillars. I'm very, being very worried about this damn, this low rants. I hope it, like, hope it throws, hope it's detailed enough to be able to see a car. That was my biggest problem in Nashville, is I came across a few spots that I didn't know if they were cars or not. So now I'm obsessed, I just wanna get back there and dive those spots that I was at. But I'm kind of, kind of waiting, just waiting a little bit longer, hoping I can get a boat. Then I ain't got to worry about falling out of this thing. Because if I tip over this kayak, there goes all my gear, you know. That would suck. Another cool thing that, uh, let me see, Lower Ants has something called Live Sight, which is like real time sonar. Uh, like you can, in real time, you can see it instead of just a snapshot. And then uh, it doesn't have 360 though. So I'm gonna have to make do without that. Hopefully, like I can pinpoint where something is. Tie things to the kayak things to the kayak well that's you know that'll work but uh like for instance the um the sonar screen itself it's water resistant not waterproof makes sense it's like if it gets submerged i'm pretty sure that's it see i'm just i don't know I just passed over a log. Should have showed up. It definitely didn't. Oh, not being a very fan. The duck is laughing at me. I know, right? It sounded like it. I'm going to go really close to this pillar and see if it picks up something. You going to Tennessee in January. I am going to Tennessee at the end of January to join Jared. I'm also going to go back there as soon as I get a boat and I'll be able to, uh, there's a couple spots I want to search that aren't near the spots that Jared was at. See, well, there's those pillars that I just passed. You can see the shadows all the way off. Man, it's not detailed at all. It's incredibly grainy. Ah... Uh, Wish I would have waited. Wish I would have waited on us. <sighs> Aggravating. Ooh. Going after some ducks. Maybe they'll show up on the radar. A sonar. So I'm really close to here. So I wonder if I go back, shoot it right only. Because wide on that side is wide open water. Mm -mm -mm. 
Noah Baker, hello. Not too exciting. Oh, what the heck was that? Just went over something, probably a tree. But uh, what is that screen? This is a side scan sonar. It's kind of a fishing thing, but I'm using it to see if I can find any uh, anything cool in the water to uh, show you guys. Doug, I'm hungry. You going to the store on the way home? I sure can. Let's see here. Now let's shoot to the right. Let's go back and see what the heck up. Something big was in the water. I'm pretty sure it's just a big tree, but you never know. Could be, could be a boat. You know, that was something I did find in uh, Nashville. Found a boat and I confirmed a boat trailer. So any, at the worst case, I could go back there and do a live, a live uh, stream pulling the boat trailer out. Not too exciting, but something to do. Well, now it's not showing up. This sonar's screwy. Unless I'm shooting on the wrong side again. I don't think I am. <laughs> Went to figure that out. No, I don't think I was. Now it's 15. Let's go back to 20. All right, so somebody give me an update. What's going on on Jacob's uh, live stream? They dove the truck, didn't find anybody in it. Are they gonna pull it out or are they gonna wait? Just pulling it out. He is down hooking it up. That's cool, that's cool. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of this damn radar. Coos. What does that mean? Coos all over it? Coos all over it? What does that mean? What does that mean? Pops all over it. Mm. Woo, it's got super shallow. Uh, not Lake Alatoona. I was actually trying to get on Lake Alatoona today and they got all the boat ramps closed. So uh, I am actually at Lake Ackworth. There is not a lot going on out here, to be honest with you. Yeah. I'm gonna cruise out here a little deeper. There's nobody out here. There's me and one more kayaker. That's it. <clears throat> I 
So here's the thing that bugs me the most about this thing is here's 20 feet on each side. Let's go all the way out to 100 feet on each side. Look at this picture. It's garbage. Like you can just, you know, it's not power. It's only seven feet deep, but I don't understand. Yeah, back to 25 feet on each side. You know, and then you can actually see stuff, but. Nope. Need an upgrade. Need an upgrade. I'm already ready to sell this thing. I wish I could return it and actually just, just hold off on the, the sonar stuff until I can actually afford the, the, the right one. You ever get so obsessed with something that you impulse buy and then you get so mad at yourself because you bought the wrong thing? I don't know what you're looking at, but I mean, I don't see it. Like, I mean, over here, it's just, Pretty much like, I'm not going in a straight line because of this stupid kayak, so. <sighs> On another note, uh, that girl, Keeslin Roberts, that I was searching for in a pond, the property owner apparently does not want his property shown in that video, the live stream that's already up. And uh, I don't know why, but I'm not taking the video down, not without a court order. So there's that. That's because he has to go to the store later. <laughs> mm. Dude, I have one of those underwater drones. It's Power Vision by Power Ray. And, uh, it's a nightmare to use. I mean, they make way better ones. Don't get that one if you ever get one. Uh, you need one that has three access, access, three access points. The one I have only has two. So uh, it goes all over the place and it's really hard to control and steady. So I actually wrote the company because they sponsored me surprisingly on that. And I decided to uh, see if I can return it and just get like a regular drone for shots and stuff because I'm no good at it and I have not fulfilled my duty as a brand ambassador of their company. So hopefully they'll send me a regular drone and I could use that uh, and do shots and be able to shout them out and all that stuff. Ah, uh, cat toy lady telling, telling stuff about what's going on. Yeah, she just had a little bit of outpatient surgery and ended up getting admitted because of uh, complications. But she is home now, and she's uh, chilling in the bed, moderating for me in this super-duper exciting live stream. Staring at a whole bunch of mud. I'm not surprised there's nothing out here. I mean, it's just... I just really wanted to mess with this thing some more because I just, I just don't think, I'm either, this is either what I'm stuck with and it just doesn't seem like it's, it might do the job. Highly doubt it's, it's going to be a challenge. I mean, I'm going to end up diving on stuff that I thought was a car and it ended up being like a rock just because it's not detailed enough. I mean, it does pick out tires. Like I can, I can spot a tire. You know, so maybe, maybe it will do good. I actually haven't seen a car, I don't think, with it. So, who knows? You're just not in a good area. No, well, I'm not in a good area for entertainment value. I'm in a good area towards pollution because there's none out here.
Woo! I'm getting some wind on my back. It's kind of a good, I'm using my body as a good sail. Yeah, see, look at that. Like I'm 25 feet and you, okay, you know what? Let me see here. What's 40? Okay, so that's 455 whatever. Okay, so we'll go back. Let's stretch it out some. Well, now that's all messy. So what about what contrast? Maybe like lower the contrast. That's 40. Eh, 45, 50, 60. How about some more? I don't know. I always thought 800 kilohertz was better than 455. You know? See, now it's scanning out at 60 feet each way. Seems like you'd be able to see something, but I don't know. I don't know. Contrast A14. Let's go back to 800. Maybe we can, uh, I don't know, dude. I thought 800 would be better. Might, might not be better so shallow. Probably right. really irritating I'll tell you that much mm. may work better on a boat with a trolling motor I, you know what, dude? I think you're right. I just think I'm going too slow. I'm not going in a steady line. Uh, this isn't the world's best sonar equipment. So I'm kind of working. Right now, I think I'm, I think this is all with one hand behind my back. You know, I'm so, what do you call it, motivated to want to get this stuff in the water to find some stuff. And I'm just, it is a... Uh, it bites me in the butt every time because I have no patience. I don't want to wait. And you know what? I just have to work. It is interesting that they use 455. That is if frequency is... Man, you are speaking, you're speaking some powerful stuff there. You know anyone with a trolling, mo trolling motor? I found one at the bottom of the river I'm currently trying to rebuild. That's how desperate I am. Uh, but I currently don't know anybody. I don't even know how the hell I'd mount it on this kayak. This thing is not made for any of this. <laughs> 800 contrast advanced left, right. I don't know. I don't know about this darn thing. That sounds too dangerous. Man, I'm really top heavy right now. So like it's, and that's another thing I'm trying to do is just keep my balance so I don't tip over. Cause if I tip over, I'm gonna lose all of my stuff. You know how depressed I'll be? <laughs> There's a solid learning curve on any equipment. Is there a video on how to use the sonar by the factory? Uh, Low Rants has some videos out there. They're not really good. You know, that it's more of a sales tactic. Like they make it sound like it's the best equipment in the world. So uh, they don't, they don't really give you any tips, but there are lots of videos out there. What's up, Ed? There are lots of videos out there that uh, do show how to use it and stuff. Uh, not a lot, surprisingly. I mean, this this particular unit is a few years out, so it's not it's not the uh, the newest one out. So there's not a lot of people are really using them anymore. They're selling them on eBay for people like me to buy. Yup. Oh, Ed's got some fans. I kind of 
have thought this thing was a little bit deeper, but you know what? I guess we're looking at five, 10 feet. This is a shallow lake. I'd go way out there in the middle, but you know, I may have mentioned it. I'm on a kayak and the wind's blowing and I have a lot of crap on it that shouldn't be on here. So I'm gonna stick within swimming distance to the shore just in case I tip over. Boy, that'd make for a good video. Live streams, capsized. I'd watch that. I'd probably repeat watch it. Invite a factory rep to go out with you. PR department should jump at a chance for free advertising and show off the stuff. They would if the numbers lined up. You know, make if I was pulling millions of views a month, they'd probably love that. But I'm not quite there yet. I'll shoot them an email though, just for giggles. You know. I am not in Nashville. I wish I was. I, I was watching Jacob's stream yesterday and uh, I was, I instantly became like super jealous because I just, I wanted to be there with him because uh, it's obviously those waters have way more stuff in them and way more stuff to find. And uh, there is a couple spots uh, that I want to go back to that was that last week in Nashville because I think I saw something, but I just don't know. But I think Next time around, I'm just gonna throw a marker in and dive it and see what I saw. If it was a rock, at least I know it's a rock, but it might be a car, and if it is a car, then I'm gonna go for it. But I'm kind of saving all of my, like if I go to Nashville, I wanna spend as much time as possible just looking for the gold Camry, you know? If I find some other cars, I will mark those and come back another day, but I kind of wanted to utilize most of my time looking for Bill, you know? He's out there somewhere. We just gotta find it. Unfortunately, you know, I, I don't, yeah. I mean, it's a sad situation all around, but definitely, definitely wanna get back over there and get back in the water. And, uh, so whose boat is Jacob on? Or is that his? Has he got himself a boat, a John boat? Or does he know somebody? Did he meet somebody that had a boat? Z Cooks. I told everybody about you, Zach. Are you coming here uh, next week? Or not next week, this weekend. Gonna go, gonna go diving and shooting some videos. Not his boat, you are so sweet. I think a boat is the missing link. Hey, we get a boat, we can get to so many more places and check all these spots. I am, I'm not gonna lie, dude, I am obsessed. You know, like every every chance I get, I'm, I'm on Google Maps looking for places that that people could have dumped stuff and, and cars and motorcycles. And, and I, uh, I just wanna, uh, wanna get out there every day and do this if I could. Yeah, cat toy lady, she's been obsessed too. She's got a nice iPad and she's been hunting for spots Dude, I found that jet ski. I just drove by the bridge and I just happened to look off of it. And I was like, oh, there's a sunken jet ski right there. And that's how that happened. So I think that was just a, that was a spit of luck. I wish that video would take off. That was a good, that was a good recovery video. And I did it all by myself. I didn't have one person out there to help me. <laughs> I had a rope and uh, a Jeep. And I just started pulling that thing. That was so funny. Y'all should watch that video. It's an older video. I think about a year or so. Last winter, I think I, was actually, I actually did that in that video. That was pretty fun. I'll be honest, I haven't looked at the screen pretty much at all. So if you guys seen something, uh, I guess think really hard and I might, I might feel your presence, but there's not nothing right here. I don't want to paddle all the way over to the other side where the, I guess I could, 
And just for giggles, I wonder how much battery I have left. This plug-in doesn't work. No, oh, Jeremy, you're just filled with, well, plug-in's definitely not gonna work, it's in the water. <laughs> See, found an old VW, you can trade it for a boat. Find an old VW. Are you sweating on the screen or is it your paddle dripping? Oh, it's, it's my paddle. I'm slinging water everywhere. Yes, Ed. Yes, yes. We are going. We're going to go to Nashville when Jared is there for sure. And we're going to go to Nashville uh, the second I get a boat. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. I, I think I may be able to get a boat before the end of January, and then I'm gonna go back to Nashville with said boat and do a lot of searching and then, uh, you know, mark some more cars, mark some more stuff to dive on, get some videos filmed, you know, and then get some more videos filmed with uh, Jared, kind of utilizing my time, you know? Getting it wet with sweat. Well, the this screen right here is actually, whoops, um, it's water resistant, like it's waterproof. You could splash it with water. You know, if it rains, it's fine. But uh, it's not submergible. You know, you don't want to stick it underwater. But uh, towards it getting splashed with water, it's not gonna hurt it, you know? Oh, that's a big fish. See that one right there? Little blip. I think it's coming over some more fish here. Let's do down. See right there? Bink, 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 bink. I think those are big fish. I can bring my boat to Nashville if you don't get one. We can talk later. Oh, snap. Now, when you say boat, what kind of boat? Like a big old pontoon or like a little John boat or what? Because when I say boat, what I mean is um, inflatable raft, <laughs> kayak, two or three people max pack it in this thing. I like down view best, a boat boat. Mm. Your boat boat probably come in handy. Cause I can we just dive right off of it, and then set up an anchor, and then we can uh, we could dive and then just keep going, make lots of videos diving. Oh, you just sparked me! Damn, we should have done that this weekend. So where are you in Oklahoma? Okay, I got it. I got it. Your wife's gonna get mad at me before too long. Jared and Sam are coming on the show before they leave. I want to get down there. I'm trying to step something. Jared wants to be there. So too cool. Cool. In fact, there are some pretty big fish. To be honest with you. Here's another. Look at this one out there. See that big white something? Something throwing off a. Can't really see that. Yeah, out there, out there. I wonder if that's a big old fish. There's a big old crater to my left. I wonder what that is. Ah, the wind's blowing me into the shore. Boo you, wind. A boat boat. Mmm. Boat boat coming handy. Is it like a like a bass boat with all the pretty, they're having trouble getting the truck out. Do they have, uh, do they have airbags or are they just trying to pull it out, you know, with the, with the wrecker? That's cool, Ed. It'd be cool for us to meet. Just pulling, trying to pull it out. Are the cops there? Like, are the, are they, are the cops watching and all that? Ask Smith's gold, I'm an okay guy. Ah, Candace wants to meet you, Ed. That'd be kind of cool. Lots of cops. Man. He's going big, he's going big. I'm not gonna lie, I'm super jealous. I wish I was there. I'm out here in a puddle, looking for nothing. They asked to not be filmed. <laughs> I tell them to put a mask on. I 
Let's see your back. That's weird. Cops are weird sometimes. Like some cops are cool, some cops aren't. They just they just need to get over it to be honest with you. This is Linda, hello. So it looks like we're about to hit 50 people in the chat room. That's really cool. <clears throat> I know it's hard because, I can, what's his name? Jacob, he's live right now and he's got a pretty interesting thing going on over there. Trying to pull a truck up. And uh, I guess it's giving him grief. I'm paddling around here at, uh, at a lake, trying to find uh, a little bit of anything. Pretty much just practicing with the sonar. I think it'll it'll work. It's gonna work a whole lot better once I get it mounted to a boat and it's steady and I can go in a straight line. I don't have to worry about paddling. I go a little bit faster. Because I'm not going fast at all. And that probably doesn't help. I wanna watch the sonar. You're looking at it. I'm shooting, uh, see right now I'm shooting 25 to the left, 25 to the right. It's only seven and a half feet deep, so nothing too exciting. Have come across some big fish, logs, no structures. I keep hitting the camera with my paddle, so I do apologize. <laughs> oh shoot, that was, uh, I'm like sideways to the wind right now. And the, the waves are kicking me around. Thumbs up, number 70. Cool. I wish you guys could tell me how much battery I have left. I have a giant battery pack behind me, but the dang power cord got wet and it won't, it won't work because it's wet. Did you know your phone tells you Oh, that's a big rock, I think. Your phone tells you that your power cord is wet and it's not going to let it work. It says, nope, power cord wet, won't work. I'm like, oh, be dang, look at that. Thank you, I try to be awesome. It's definitely not as exciting right now as uh, what's going on over there at Chaos's channel. One day, though, you know what's really hard is I need an entourage. I got my wife and my kids. I think that's going to be that's gonna be my entourage, my my crew. You know, because somebody's got to go live while uh, I dive. So, we need a lot of that. Let's see, we'll four and a half feet. I better get deeper. I'm going to rip off my transducer. Oh, that guy's got the right thing. He's got a John boat with a, uh, a trolley motor. I bet, I bet he covers way more ground than me. It's going to be really hard to get back to... Oh, there's something floating in the water. I want to get it. There will be no... Oh, crap. Only two feet deep. Go out. Go out farther. <laughs> Dude, he's got two trolley motors on his. Cool. I'm only two feet deep. Sure doesn't look two feet. Good luck finding an RV to fix it up, right? Good luck indeed. Good luck. Good luck, wife. <sighs> yeah, this water is so shallow. Like, I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought it'd be at least a little deeper, but I've never actually wondered. I don't know, I've never, never actually figured it out. So now I know. Oh my God, if I hit the thing, I can't pass away from smoking on. Let's go lower. Let me can look at the screen. That way, maybe I don't stop hitting the dang camera with the paddle. It's a little crooked, but it's probably driving Candace nuts. 
Yeah, there we go. Kind of see what's going on now, I think. A little better, a little better. Something floating in the water. I'm going after whatever it is floating in the water. It's kind of a rescue mission of whatever, what kind of litter is floating around out here. Looks like a, a gallon jug of something. It's terrible. Why would people do that? So I wonder if these like white blips are fish. Because the, the, the dark are supposed to be shadows, right? So I'm gonna dump the boat trying to get the, uh, the trash in the lake. It's a chance I have to take. If anything, I'm gonna clean it up. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a God, I wonder. <laughs> maybe it's a buoy. <laughs> If you have a truck, you can find campers decent. I'm gonna have a truck. I have to go pick it up from Wyoming probably next week, and I have to drive it back. So uh, that's gonna be fun. A lonely drive all by myself from Wyoming all the way back here to Georgia, and I have to somehow do it, you know, in a day or two. Candace is just thrilled about that. All right, what is this? It doesn't look like a gallon, it looks like a ball floating here. No, wait a minute. It is a buoy. It's tied off to something. I don't know if I should grab it. It's a tether ball. I don't know if it's tied to something. Whee! That's weird. I wonder... That spun me around. I know you guys can't see it. I'm just kind of narrating. I grabbed the ball that's floating out here. And it's a, it's a ball on a bungee cord. And, uh, it's tied off to something. I don't know what that's about. Do we should turn around and scan it? <laughs> Let's drive by and scan it and see what it looks, see, what, see if we can figure out what's tied to it. Jeremy's a nerd and he's gonna do whatever he wants because he's all by himself with his wonderful viewers. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it left. All right, to the left, you're gonna see whatever that is attached to, maybe. That's weird. Oh, the wonderful skater. The wonderful sonar didn't pick up Jack. Don't have any idea what the thing is attached to. Oh, look at your wife. What did she say? I missed it. Oh no. Down view. Down view is only for like going right over it. But you know what? I'll listen to the wife. Down view. And I'll, I'll just graze it. You know, I'll drive right over it and just like kind of let it slide against the other side of the boat. See if I can get a shot of whatever is down there. All right, passing over it right now. Mmm. I don't know what these are. What's the yellow? This is water line, I guess. Something right here. That's where the ball is. Oh, it's there. It's kind of weird. That's good ages. Auto range, 10 feet. What does that mean? Oh my gosh. Six feet deep. This thing's weird. This is a weird thing, man. It's a weird thing. I've been live for an hour. That's weird. I still have people watching me. Six feet deep. Okay, there's a dot. See that dot? Is that a fish? Right there. Boom, boom. I think it's a fish. So right below me, there's a fish. What are we looking for? Amanda, we are looking for a little bit of anything. If anything, I'm just practicing. You know, I'm trying to understand this sonar. 
I don't think we're gonna find anything amazing, but we are learning how to use the sonar and uh, dial it in to better. So when the time comes and I can put this thing on a boat, we will be able to uh, find some cars and, and dive on the cars. Cars and trucks, maybe some motorcycles. That's the plan. Whole lot. Six feet deep. I know people who are six feet deep. They could stand out here. Shell a little mud hole. Jared says hello in the other chat. Oh, so Jared, Jared's in uh, Jacob's chat right now? God, I would be too. Mine is not as exciting. This is more like the slow sounds of, of jazz versus alternative over on Jacob's channel. Whatever. Be proud, people are here. I am proud, I'm proud. And uh, I like watching the sonar too, even though like there's not a lot out here, but there could be something pop up. I'm going by the beach right now to my right, there's a, their version of the beach. Uh, I'm trying to head over here to this big, I guess you could call it a boat ramp, boat dock, pier. People jump off it, and I have I have snag stuff. I've been magnet fishing here before. Hit up Base Pro. Hit up Base Pro. Oh, I, I would if I had Base Pro money. <laughs> I got eBay money. That's about it. Ranger boats. Ranger boats. Almost over here to this boat ramp. There might be something laying around down here. It'd be funny if, oh my gosh, could you imagine if somebody launched a motorcycle off this thing because they stole it? That'd be so cool. I have dive gear in the van right now. I would be in that thing. Normally, the Norfolk Lake is clear. Hello from Illinois. Hello. I've had the wind in my back for like ever. And I'm despising the fact that I'm going to have to paddle back up there. It's going to suck so bad. Seven feet deep. I'm coming up here on this, this rampy looking thing. Sup, Balboa Baggins. Just playing with the sonar. Having a little chat with the viewers. Seeing if I can find anything out here. So I have dove these waters. I have magnet fished these waters. God dang, I can't wait to get this thing out of my way. God, keep on hitting it with the paddle. At least it's not on my chest. Ooh, look at this thing. Looks like a rectangle. I don't think it's a car, but can you zoom in on these things? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> That'd be cool looking. I have to go back over there, take a closer look. The glare, dang glare. Dive gear time. Wow, almost flipped. I felt it. Concentrating, sorry. I know the glare sucks. What is that? See that? I wonder what that is. I wonder if that's the tie offs to the buoy. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's worth a second look. I don't exactly know what it could be, though. You see what I'm saying? Like, I can't distinguish. Like, I'm pretty sure I could tell if it was a boat. Because boats, you know, are very distinguishable. But let's go zooming by the, this thing again. See if we can see anything. Just turn around. What was that? Touch something on my phone. Definitely go over it again. Trying to. I guess you guys can still see me. Is something popped up on my screen? I think it's. There we go. All right, all right. Let's go back over here. Zoom by it again. See if we can pick up anything. So to my left is a giant pier. It's probably about ten feet away. To my right is open water. So I'm thinking that those dots you see right there, the pier. Or whatever it is, I think I just went right over it. So that didn't help. Yep, yep, need a boat. Need a boat. I'll zoom over it a few times, see if we can get a better shot of it eventually. I can't find it. Something right here. Hello from Ohio, Connie. How you doing? Uh, there's something to my left. That's probably a tree stump. Or something. Well, it's a little tall. Uh, how's Jacob doing? Did he find anything? Truck is stuck. To get the lift bags out there, I guess. All right, so I'm within arm's distance of the, the pier. To my left. Ah, the wind starts blowing like really hard. It's right in my face. I don't know if that's going to do anything or not. We're trying different things here. Oh, wow, look at that. You see those things on, on it's back and forth? That's the water disturbance that my paddles are throwing. That's pretty crazy. This isn't going to work. But we'll, we'll pass by it anyways. Nope. I like 
در راه بک Don't you like it? Whatever that was, now I can't find it to save my life. something. I wonder if that's a fish or what. Something down there. Hmm. Do, do, do. Back. God, that glare is the devil, isn't it? It's a sturgeon? Oh my gosh, if there's a sturgeon out here, that'd be crazy. Yep, yep, this kayak. Gotta go get the kids off the bus, be right back. I don't know if I'm gonna do another live stream with this kayak thing, because it's just so flipping aggravating, right? If it's a shark, get out of the water. See, now you look right here, it looks like there's something, but I think it's just me moving around constantly. You know, it's making the, making the sonar act up. It's just, I don't know. Play on words. I mean, there is something right below me. I mean, you can see it right here. I just don't have a clue what it is. I don't think, I don't think it's a, let's stop the sonar. Let's go over here. See, there's something right here, something right here. So I just don't know. Start it up again, clear that curious to know what it is it's probably just a bag or something but this water is very dark and murky so it would be half it would be, be interesting to try and find it to say the least whoa what does that look like to you guys see that Oh, that's spooky. You see that right there? I know it's the eyes playing tricks on me, but what does that look like to you? Hmm. That just kind of made my heart stop a little bit. I was like, ooh, man, what is that? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm saving that one. Uh, let's put that right there I'm just gonna ride it because that's what I thought we'll save it okay clear the curse stop okay now let's what do you guys think do you guys think I'm on I don't know dude that's pretty spooky I'm gonna go back over it again see what it looks like down view yeah yeah
Ugh, didn't see nothing that pass, but okay, let's do the, uh, let's do this. Okay, here we go. We're going to go to menu. We're going to create our own. I want structure and I want the chart. And then we'll go. Well, actually, it's probably already there. Let's go back. Discard. Let's see your chart, chart and structure. Okay, there we go. So now we got that. So now we'll do down only. And then we'll use this. And now we'll try to go right over that spot and see if we can see something. There we go. Look at these guys. That's cool. Woo, woo. There we go. All right. Now here's the cool thing is I can get right on top of it, drop a buoy, and swim out there. And I could search that area, but it'd be dark. So I'd be feeling around. So whatever's down there, I'd be grabbing. And if it's not... Let's get some speed up so we can get a good picture. All right, you guys ready for this? Let's see if we can see anything. Looks like I'm going to go right over it. Oops. I went right over it, nothing showed up, but it's not accurate. It gives me like within 50 feet, so I may not even be close to it. So what we'll do is go to right and left. See, there it is right there, whatever it is. I went right by it. Now that angle, it doesn't look like a body, but I am curious. Oh, this is hard. Alright, looks like I'm on path. There it is again. Now that I don't know. That doesn't throw off a shadow. It looks anything like a body. You see what I'm looking at here? Stop the sonar. Where are you? There you are. And whatever that is right there. I don't know. Now I don't know what it is, but it's... Man, I tell you what, it sure looked like something. So let's start sonar up again. Go back out. Out. What is happening here? Oh, clear that. Damn, there we go. Nope, clear the cursor. Back out. 30 feet. 25. Let's straighten it out. Now, whatever that is, we'll go over it again. Whatever it was, I went right over at that time, so let's... It doesn't help me at all, you see what I'm saying? Definitely worth another look. God, if there's a body right there... I mean, it's not that deep. You know? Let's see if we can get, like, a angle we haven't had yet. Well, I saw a shadow... House Dragon. I saw, like, um, an image a second ago that was the shape of uh well i'm just gonna say it and see it's right there oops see right there but uh it's 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 <laughs> it spooked me so now i'm trying to uh i'm trying to get a good look at it and uh you know see what work see what we're working with
So see now this is where oh gosh, I keep bitching about it, but this is this is where like that that hummingbird would come in really handy because it has that 360 scan on it. And we could park this thing and do a 360 scan and we'd have our answer, you know. So let's uh let's go back here. Well, I like this one. I wonder how do you uh how do you change? Like instead of like this, we could put this on the bottom and this on top to get a better look. You know what I'm saying? Hmm, advanced maybe. Range lines, cursor, sonar log, surface clarity medium, high. Low? I don't know what that means. Surface off? Hey, somebody do some research for me and tell me what, uh, what does surface clarity mean? Because it was on medium. And I went, is medium good or bad? But uh, surface clarity, let's see, flip from left to right. We don't want to flip it. Wind's carrying me. Let me see where am I? Quite a ways away from my mark. Surface clarity is for the down scan, not the side scan. Oh, okay. Okay, let's try this. We'll go left side only. And then we'll try to pass by it on the left and we'll see if we can get a, a shot to kind of give us a bigger shot, you know? Maybe even knock her down to 20 feet. Yeah, we'll do 25 still. My drag. Z cooks out here. Holy crap. That might have been just tricks of the camera because uh, I was turning. So I don't think that's anything. Tricks of the camera. Tricks of the sonar. Like I pass, I pass it and didn't see anything. Did some crap. That might be it right there off in the distance, right here. But what you do, guys, is like a three-year-old. It looks like a three-year-old coloring. You be nice to me, man. I wonder if I can. Is there a way to erase? Uh, or like turn off the tracking, you know, like, let's see here. I don't know. Reset. No, I don't do that. Oh my God, I did something wrong. What is that? Oh, I'd done something wrong. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Finish. Okay, we're done with that. What? Yeah, stop. I don't know what's going on. I pressed so many buttons down. I don't know what I did. Anyway, uh, chart options. Let me see. North up, 3D, look ahead, color trails. Yeah, I don't know how to turn those off, but... Okay, looks like we got turned around, so we're heading back to this, this dot. Let's see if we can pick up anything. So 
So there's that. Right only. I don't know. It could have been just a... It's... Okay. It could be a body. It could not be a body. It's definitely something worth throwing out a marker and seeing if we can find it. But this water is probably a foot of visibility. So it would definitely be interesting. You know what I mean? Definitely worth making marking was strange looking. I do have it marked on here so I can come back out here and get out get out to that point and throw a buoy and then we could search that area and see if we can find it. Uh, it'd be a scary dive. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm kind of a sissy. But I have learned how to search in, in zero visibility water. So Makes me wonder though. Don't it make you guys wonder? Let's go right only. 30 feet out. I'm gonna hug, I'm gonna hug this thing and see if we can, uh, and see if we can pick up on anything. Be nice and be grateful. I don't see you guys. I'm not sure what that. I missed the comment. I hope that wasn't aimed towards me because I do what I can. came up right there saved a dog from the road that's how you do it all right i'm gonna turn around go left only i'm, I'm gonna turn around Let's see if we can i'm sorry if i'm like With the wind in my back, I got plenty of speed. I think those, let's see those bright spots right there. I think those are fish. Pretty cool. You want to ride? Hello. Hi. something down there and there it is right there now whatever it is beyond me but it's big enough to where it's definitely worth looking at you know let's go back let's stop the sonar you see it right there i get that shape more than more than not but i wonder that first time i went over man it, it definitely looked like it was thrown a picture or something I did not like so snapping turtle big one probably I get down there grab a hold of a snapping turtle that'd be that'd be it for me 
<laughs> I think the next thing should be see if I could snag it with a with, see if I can hit it with a magnet, which I don't have, and I'm kind of afraid to um, uh, use a magnet on this kayak because if I hit something and I'm not careful, it'll pull me right off. You know, so that's kind of got me a little hesitant on throwing magnets off this thing. But uh, let's do one more pass, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna start making my way back to the boat ramp. My battery's low. I didn't see nothing that pass. I think there's water in my kayak. I might be sinking. Does it? Oh wait, uh, I just, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Okay, let's go back to right. There's, I think that's, he hasn't caught up yet, to be honest with you. Let's go back. You know, I take that back. Let's go left to right again. Be stupid. Yeah, there's that. Huh. Something out there, there's something out there worth looking at. Could be something, probably nothing. But this is a perfect spot to uh, to throw. There's a big old, big old boat, or not boat, but fishing pier. Somebody could easily launch something off right here. There it is again. Way to my left. The perfect that is a perfect spot. Whatever it is, that somebody threw something off of. It looks more square than anything. The more, more and more I pass over it, it looks square. So that has intrigued me. May have to come here Saturday and uh, dive that and see what we can figure out. What do you guys think? Think we should do that? I can go live once we locate it, or we get divers in the water. I can go live, and I'll get um, I'll, I'll get get the live shot of it coming up. You know, chances are, it's a big piece of trash, maybe a canopy, chair, or something. But it looks big, doesn't it? I mean, it looks like a good size. Live's fun. There's something big. I just went over. I wonder what that is. It looks like a log. But... And it's weird, like, see, I'm going back. I'm going the exact same way I went coming down here, and I didn't see this stuff. So the, the sonar is really, really finicky. And that's what irritates me, is I, I just, uh, I don't know. I'll use it until I can afford a better one. I might stick with low rants, though, just because everybody has Humminbird. And yes, they're good, but uh, I kind of like giving other companies a shot instead of just going with, uh, you know, like everybody uses the DJI drone. I don't want a DJI drone just for that reason alone. I kind of want to give another company a chance. Does that make sense? Because uh, I know there's other brands out there that have just as good as a product, but they get a bat, you know, they just don't get enough uh, advertising, maybe, if, if, that, if that makes any sense to you guys. So like, but Lowrance has a, a unit that's like, we would say it's definitely a strong competitor of Humminbird, you know? It puts out a way better picture than this, way more detail, not near as grainy. And so you can definitely see structures and sunken cars and boats a lot better, but it is definitely out of my price range. So I'm gonna have to wait until my boat, what is it, my ship comes in, and then I can, uh, I can maybe afford it someday. I'm going against the wind now, trying to get back to the boat, the boat ramp. It's not even a boat ramp. Woo, look at all these. 
ship comes in like a boat, right? <laughs> Northern Ireland, hey, that's cool. Let's get rid of that screen so we can kind of show what I'm working with. Scotland, really, that is so cool. You think you keep seeing stuff? There's, currently that's just dirt. There ain't nothing down there but dirt. There might be fish and stuff that I'm missing. Like here's a, here's a bright spot right there. That could be a fish. A uh, pretty good size one. But currently it's, I think A2 is actually a pretty good spot. Yeah. And there's also a reflection. I'm on a kayak moving all over the place. Oh. Ah, the wind. The wind. Iceland? For real? That's cool. Uh, I read the comment wrong. I hope you accept my apology. Uh, sure. I don't exactly know what you're talking about, but I'm a very forgiving gent. So that could be a fish right there. Casting up a big old shadow. See that? Hello from Alabama. Ooh, dude, you could probably help me. Need to find somewhere in Alabama, you know, boat ramps, missing persons, cars, stuff like that. I can come out there and see if I can find them. Three dots, left side. That might just be a reflection. Because on the screen itself, I don't see them, but on the phone that I keep hitting with my phone, with the paddle, uh, I can see what you're talking about. Yeah, there's like reflection on the on the phone. It's definitely not helping the live stream any. Okay, so it looks like it wasn't a total bust. There's something off the pier that I think I'm gonna come out here Saturday and figure out a plan to see if we can find it. Shouldn't be too hard, even though it is it is gonna be dark, murky, muddy. Probably zero visibility. You need to go over things in the water that you know so you can recognize on screen. I completely agree. Uh, if I knew where there was a car, I would go over it a million times just so I know what I'm looking at. But I haven't found a car yet. But now, remember, we uh, I'm going to... Now this kayak thing is a means to an end. This is just level one. Uh, I will be getting a boat sooner or later, and that will help out the, the sonar situation a lot better. Uh, oh no, I flipped the screen. Whoop, there we go. You see my chin. You see my chinny chin. You can always drive one into the water. Holy crud, dude, I am paddling. Hey, so what do you think I should title the uh, the video of, of this pier? Because like, like I need to make an edited video, so I'm gonna have to like have to title it something, and then I'll go live Saturday 
once we get a game plan like once the diver's in the water i'll go live and then we'll just wait for him to find something who the diver is gonna be i don't know yet it might be me i got a couple friends that dive might put them in the water but we're gonna have to do like a grid pattern type situation to find it Just a tip, if you wipe your screen with rubbing alcohol swabs before each adventure, it helps the visibility. Absolutely. Uh, I've been live for quite a minute, so it's probably water and crap all over. Uh, but I will remember that for next time. Ooh, look how shallow we are. Three feet. Melissa wants to message Cat Toy Lady personally. I would guess that you do that on Instagram or Facebook. Something like that. It'd be the easiest way. There may be a body below as a good title. Put the alcohol on the wipe, not on the screen, or it gets the hose again. <laughs> See what I did there? I made a silence of the lambs joke. Raynex. Yup. Look how bright that is. See the view, not the scanner. Bad pick. Um, maybe. <laughs> the wind is blowing me like really bad. Or it gets the hose again. All right, I can do this. I can do this. I was trying to drop my phone. Right. Live again, even though I didn't mean to do that. All right, I got it set up for the view on the way back. Uh, I can't see the comments though, because the way I got it set up. So, wish me luck. I'm two feet deep, not good. Chop is not helping at all.
Oh, I'm taking pictures. Sorry, I cannot see the chat. I have no idea what y'all are saying. I'm just trying to get this thing out of the wind because the wind is blowing hard. Let's take the trans this transducer off. So we don't hit anything with it. Okay. All right, now let's not drop my phone in the water. All right, that's, uh, I'm so sorry about this. <laughs> Turn this thing around. There we go. Pat all mama wants food. <laughs> okay, now I can see the live stream again. Let's see, 44 people here, 116. Thumbs up. How many thumbs down I got? Miles, none, no, th no thumbs down. That's crazy. It has got to be scary to almost drop your phone. It's more scared to flip this kayak and lose all my gear. Check out the Good of the Land channel for electric powered kayak. Unless they're giving me one, I'll just watch it and get sad, you know? Because everything costs moolah. Jeremy ain't got no moolah. He living on, living on God's good graces at the moment. Especially the way the world is. Work is not what it used to be. And I am not full-time YouTuber yet, so there's that. I wish I was. I'm close. Not really close, but he's a diver. He can get it. True. Be like a needle in a haystack, though. Whee! Coming in hot. Ah! Oh, I hit the ground. Look how far I am. Boop. Woo! Living on God's goo graces. Sam in AWP is on Chaos's channel. Yeah, everybody's at Chaos's channel. I won't, I'm probably gonna go over there myself. Phone's at like two percent. So uh, there you have it. I think we found something off of that pier so that might be my saturday or part of it is trying to figure out what that is diving it it could be a fun day and if we do i'll go live and i will go from there but uh, until then i'm gonna stop boring you and let's go over there to uh jacob's channel and uh see what he can find see you guys see you guys around